this ought to be interesting. We just went in and told the guy we'd like to uh, play a round of golf so we could get the golf cart and drive all over. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at the golf uh, course a little bit and then look at all the houses and stuff that are around here. So this is like as we go down the road, we go interior roads, golf court, whatever. <laughs> there is no seat belt. Boy, that is obnoxious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm glad it doesn't do that going forward. Hi, sure. Hi Are you enjoying your round of golf? Sure. When we get there. Yeah, when we get there. You know, I just love golf. We just love to play golf. So basically we rented the golf cart for 21 bucks for about four or five hours <laughs> or until 6.30. That's when they close, they got to bring it back. It says we got to go to Gator. I guess this is Gator where you tee off. We'll just follow the path. We won't be teeing off. Four. Where's Happy Gilmore? This is hole number four, par five, 492 yards. White and everything else is green. Off we go. Uh oh, guess what? This is the end of the road. We gotta turn around and go back. <laughs> uh, I think the hole was the other way. Oh well. Well, we got. Get kicked off the golf cart, the golf course, because gee, we don't have any golf clubs, and you're not supposed to be out here driving Stop. around if you uh, don't have a golf club. So, Stop. Uh, what do you want to see? Uh -huh. Oh, what? oh, it's a bird. Yeah, I don't know what kind of. I see saw a butt sticking at me. I thought, what the heck is that? Anyway, well, sure, I was getting pictures of the bird. Uh, I guess the guy in charge of the golf cart. Of course, came out and said, Are you playing golf? Uh, no. Are you playing golf club then? Yeah, no. Do you no. play golf? No. Well, you gotta get off the course. You're not supposed to drive around out here. Who knew? Who cares? So, we'll go with the house today. again another day another journey so we're gonna go down to see the zoo in Tampa we're gonna go see the zoo that might be interesting it's a uh, fact that Tampa Zoo has got a show coming on TV I think on Animal Planet or something so we're gonna go down there and check it out and just see what's going on and have a good time as down, down the road we go Tampa Zoo at Lowry Park Turn right, then turn left. Turn right, then turn left. Turn left, then your destination will be on the right. 
Okay, we're at the Tampa Zoo. Uh, looks like it's going to be a nice day. It's a little chilly still, but at least we're parked next to the front entrance and we can come back and take our jackets off if it gets warm. So, Down the path we go. And this is the entrance to the Tampa Zoo. Still got Christmas tree stuff up. We're talking to one of the volunteers inside the manatee uh, area, viewing area, so you can see him underwater. And he was saying that all the animals out here are rescue animals. And they rescue them, they try to return them to their natural habitat if they can. If they can't, then again, they'll either stay here or go to another zoo. Uh, and he was saying, it, what do you say it cost? $30,000 a year to keep one manatee. $30,000 to keep one manatee, so. That's, uh, so, you know, all the money that they take in, you know, goes to taking care of those animals and getting them back into nature if they can. And a lot of volunteers down here. It's pretty cool. Whoa, look at all the Airstream things to sit out, the uh, birds to sit out in front of your Airstream. They're vocal. Okay, we're on a tram ride. Not sure what we're gonna see, but here we go. So we're going to see and smell lots of really exciting things behind the scenes in Africa today. So on the left hand side, make sure you guys get your noses ready. It is our poop dumpsters. Okay, you can it now. We do have over 1,100 animals here at Zoo Tampa, so we collect quite a bit of zoo poop. It is estimated in one year we collect enough manure to overflow an Olympics-sized swimming pool. Now, as we're leaving the Aitree Rainforest, we're now going to be entering the African Bushlands, which is home to Africa's most successful predators, the African painted dogs. 
You can see them right now playing with some of our zookeepers at the moment for a training session. Now they are Africa's most successful predators because they catch their prey about 80% of the time. Now this is a comparison to lions and hyenas, which catch their prey roughly about 30% of the time. You might also notice we have a couple of other rhinos hanging out for us today. At full size, they are going to be between 4,000 to 6,000 pounds. Now that is the size of two and a half Toyota Camrys. They also have a couple of roommates in this habitat called the Grevy zebras. Now they are the largest and unfortunately the most endangered of the zebra species. They can be identified by their thick, dark brown stripes as well as their white underbellies. Now on the left hand side we have our two mama and baby pairs and our male elephant. On the right hand side we have our matriarch, Ellie. Now she is our oldest and our wisest female at about 40 years old. The majority of the time, you'll be able to find our male Stupa off to the right by himself, but Ellie is enjoying just a little bit of alone time today. On the left, you'll be able to see our two babies over by the pool off to the side, and our male elephant up here over by underneath the shade structure. Now, he is about 10,000 pounds. This is relatively light for an adult male elephant, which are usually between 12,000 to 14,000 pounds. And about 25% of that weight is going to be held in his skull alone. Now passing the African Elephant Nighthouse, we have our giraffe nighthouse in this wooden building right here. And we have one of our giraffe friends behind the scenes at the moment. Now that looks like our Nubian giraffe, Randall. We do have three different, oh, over the side. And right here is our Maasai giraffe, Sakani. If you look up, he is looking down at us and it tasting that nice tasty bowl at the moment. <laughs> but we do have three different subspecies. If you would like to check out our other giraffe that is open in the open habitat at the moment. What are these? Oh, they're building a nest. There must be a couple, just, they're like building a nest. Yeah. Isn't it wild? Look at their necks, how long they are, and they fold them up. Marabou storks. They take their trunk and they, they splash the water mm -hmm. so any dirt or anything on top of the water goes away from it. Then they suck it up. See? Mm -hmm. Isn't that well? So it covers up under the black. And there goes the baby up under the little brother. Yep. Thanks for coming along for the ride as down the road we go. As always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of our adventures while on the road, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell to get notified when a new video comes out.